Hey, what's going on, folks? This is Keith, and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Uh, today, I've got this 2005 Honda Odyssey behind me here, and it's got a vibration or a, a wobbling sensation under acceleration. Uh, it only happens with your foot on the gas. You let your foot off the gas. It's just fireworks back there. Don't worry about it. Uh, when you let your foot off the gas, uh, the wobbling sensation goes away, and it usually happens at about 60 to 70 miles per hour. Um, I don't suspect I've got a tire balance issue as once you let your foot off the gas, the vibration or sensation goes away. Um, I suspect maybe there is a, a loose driveline component. Um, most likely a CV axle may have an inner joint with some slop in it. Or possibly there may be a steering and suspension issue. Maybe an inner and outer tie rod end uh, is loose or maybe a wheel bearing may have some slop in it or play in it. So we're going to run a little diagnostic procedure on this thing and you're welcome to follow along and glean some information from it and maybe it will help you with your own vehicle. And if you have any questions when you're done watching this video, you can always comment below and I'll be happy to get back with you. Alright, so I got the vehicle jacked up in the air. Uh, the, the front end is jacked up. I got the rear tires on the ground here. And, and by the way, be sure you know how to jack up your vehicle and support it safely before you do something like this. Uh, this video doesn't really go into that, but you anyway, know, we've got it jacked up here. We got the, the wheel just hanging. Um, what I like to do is check the wheel bearings. And the way I do that is I grab the bottom of the wheel right here, the top of the wheel, and I just kind of go back and forth like that and I feel for any play that or any slop that might be in that wheel bearing and that's good and tight and this is what I'm doing right here I'm just reversing motion with my hands um, I do the same thing on the uh, the three o'clock and nine o'clock position of the tire here and just try to feel for any kind of a play or any kind of play or, or slop and I'm doing the same back and forth motion right here at the three o'clock and nine, nine o'clock position I don't really feel anything there but uh, if you do feel some slop whenever you uh, check for your wheel bearing and your your tie rod ends and whatnot then of course you want to you want to replace the uh, the part that's affected that's uh, actually uh, sloppy there like I said this is the wheel bearing and then this right here tests your inner and outer tie rod ends so if you feel some slop in there you may need to have somebody do this for you while you're up underneath investigating looking at the outer uh, tie rod end and the inner tie rod end if you see any play in that little socket or that little joint right there then that part needs to be replaced so you're probably wondering uh, how is looseness in the wheel bearing or looseness in the inner and outer tie rod end is going to cause my car to shake or vibrate uh, while accelerating going down the road well if, if your wheel bearing is loose like this and then you start to uh, put a little bit more torque on it, uh, applying the gas, then it's going to cause this this uh, tire to to want to shift in, in a different direction, if you will, and that can cause the the wheel to vibrate like this or vibrate like that. Uh, anything that's loose, um, it potentially under acceleration, could cause a vibration. So same thing with the the tie rod ends. If you go to add torque to it, and that uh, tie rod end is loose. It, it may just hit the tire just right to cause it to want to wobble a little bit and that'll make you potentially feel it in the driver's seat there now this is the uh, back side of the tire here and this is the outer tie rod end where it attached to attaches to the uh, steering knuckle and this right here is your bellow boot and inside there is your inner tie rod end and while you have somebody uh, rocking that wheel back and forth you want to check for any kind of movement inside this socket right here if you see the uh, tie rod end or the uh, the steering knuckle moving apart from the the outer tie rod end, then you know you got some slop inside that socket there. Uh, also, you can't really see the inner tie rod end, but you can see movement in and out when somebody's moving the the, the uh, wheel back and forth there. Now you're going to get some movement if you uh, if you press hard enough. Naturally, the uh, inner tie rod end is going to be pushed in into the steering rack. But uh, you want to just move it just enough with just a little bit of force to uh, find out if you have any looseness inside that socket there. But if you push hard enough, it's going to move anyway. But it's a different sensation uh, when, it, when it's moving like it should uh, versus when it's moving because there's slop inside that, uh, that joint there. And of course, naturally, while you're under here, go ahead and check your lower control arm bushings. Make sure they're not shot and you don't have a lot of slop in between there. You may have to take a pry bar, put it in between the uh, the frame and the uh, lower control arm and kind of pry in and out on it to check for looseness. Same thing on the back 
uh, bushing there too. Um, also, check your, your strut. I'm on the ground, by the way, looking straight up. Uh, check your strut mounts. Make sure they're nice and tight. Uh, there's not a lot of movement in them. And also, check your CV axle. Uh, in particular, the inner joint. Uh, a lot of times these inner joints will get some slop in them and uh, it will cause a vibration under a load or under acceleration. And the way I check the uh, inner joint is I just grab hold of the shaft here and I push up and down like that. Not in and out, but up and down. And I'm not sure if you can hear that or see that, but there is some up and down movement there. Now some is actually normal. You're going to have a little bit of play anyway, but an excessive amount will cause a, uh, a vibration under acceleration so that's what I did to check that there and also if you look on the boot here you can see it's been slinging grease so I suspect that this inner inner uh, CV axle joint here is worn out and that's what's causing my vibration under acceleration and here's that axle out of the vehicle here and you can just take and move it back and forth just like that I'm going in and out like that or up and down like this and you can actually hear it it's got quite a bit of slop inside that inner joint there too now it's not very often that an outer joint will cause a wobbling sensation but it's very well possible so uh, just like you check the inner one check this one too for excessive play in it and by the way, don't forget, you got two sides. So check your other side too and check all those components that I spoke of. Um, so if you're interested in watching the video on replacing the CV axles, by the way, I've got uh, two bad CV axles. I got the same issue on the other side there. I'm gonna replace both sides. I'm gonna have a link to the videos down in the description there. You're welcome to click on that and watch those videos. And uh, I surely hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, please read the entire description below before you attempt to, to look at any of this or do any repairs. And if you don't have a manual, you really need to get a manual for your vehicle. Uh, my videos are not designed to take the place of a manual. You gotta have a manual, okay? Just be safe, uh, wear safety glasses, and uh, like I said, I hope this helps somebody. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks, guys.